Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to another tutorial but before we start just please hit that subscribe button to give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it um, I'm sorry I've been gone for about a week I apologize um, I had purchased a new video camcorder and um, I wanted to add some video onto my tutorials, but um, I'm having problems with the camera. So I'm still trying to get all the bugs out of it because I'm having problems with the lighting and all that stuff. So um, hopefully on the next video, you get a chance to see me um, explaining the tutorial. So I apologize for that, but I wanted to get out another video for you. So I didn't want to hold progress up. So. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so, on this video, I'm going to show you how to create a physical sky and how to create water in Maya in this scene. On the last two videos, I made, I showed you how to create a displacement, use a displacement map to create terrain, and then also I told you how to use a bump map to use terrain. So what we're going to do on this tutorial, this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add water to this scene. We're going to make this scene look even more interesting. And we're going to add a physical sky. Okay, let's do first thing first. Okay. Um, it's very simple to create a physical sky. Only thing you have to do is go to the, um, to the render setting here. Well, click here. And then you go to the render setting here. Okay. And then we're going to render everything, not in Maya software, but in Mental Ray. This is what we want to use. We're going to be using Mental Ray. Okay. So um, the only thing you have to do, you, you go, um, when you go into your render settings, you go into scene. And you go all the way down here where it says physical sun and sky. And you just click on that, just like that. And you can see the attributes actually appear on this uh, physical sun and sky here on your right hand side here. Okay, so we're going to do a quick render. There you go, you have a physical sky. And if you want to get rid of this um, this grayness that you see here in the background, let me show you how to do it. You go down here where it says horizontal height. We're going to take that, make that like minus one. Minus one. Let's do another render. There you go. All right, that looks even better. That looks great. Okay, so there's other things you can do with this physical sky. You can give it like a different appearance. You can click on here, you can go into the sun direction and you use your rotate, rotate tool to give it like an evening type of look. So you just move it over to the left just a little bit there. Let's do another quick render. There you go. You got like an even sky there. So there's so much you could do with this um, with this physical sun. And there you go. There you got it. So now I'm going to show you how to add water to this thing. Very simple. Hit the space bar, just like that. You go down to fluids, and then you go down to ocean. Okay, you go down to ocean, you hit that. Let's do a quick render. All 
All right, we got some water now. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's kind of brighten it up just a tad bit. Go back to the physical sky, go back to direction. Let's move it over just a tad bit like that. Right, there we go we just created <clears throat> an easy terrain with water just keeping it simple but you can make this water the way that you want it you can go back into the attributes of the water you can create more waves let me click the ocean plane then you go ahead into this um, ocean shader and then you go down to the wavelengths and you go down you could you can adjust these the way that you want them how you want the water to look so this can you know you can spend a lot of time doing this but i just want to show you a very simple way of creating water and creating the terrain and the physical sky in this scene i hope you got some out of this video and um there's other ways that you create water also um it, oh that's maya too so um i'm gonna show you how to do that in the next video and um um i appreciate you for watching and please um uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up and um i see you on the next video thank you